Now we're going to look at a very important skill for the SAT math section, and that is knowing how to interpret information and turn it into equations. So we're going to start off with an example of this. Rich Regina says she can bench press more weight than Buff Billy, and they want to test if she's right. Buff Billy can bench press a barbell with two weights that weigh X kilograms each and four weights that weigh Y kilograms each. And Rip Regina can bench press a barbell with four weights that weigh Z kilograms each and six weights that weigh W kilograms each. What inequality would prove that Rip Regina can bench press more than Buff Billy? The neat thing about these types of problems is that we don't actually have to do any math necessarily crunching any numbers or anything. We can just write down what the problem says and we're done. So to get started with that, we want to identify the key phrases. These are things that include variables and numbers like 2, 3, x, y, z, or relations like more than, equal to, less than, same as, or so on. Let's look at some examples. For variables and numbers, we can have phrases like four weights that weigh x kilograms each, or things like five apples. For relations, we can have things like Rip Regina can bench press more than Buff Billy, or things like Abby and Paige are the same age. With practice, you'll get better at identifying what these key phrases are. Now let's apply this to our problem here with Buff Billy and Rip Regina. So now let's identify the key phrases in our word problem. So right off the bat, we see Rip Regina can bench press more than Buff Billy. So that will be our first. And then we see Buff Billy can bench press a barbell with two weights that weigh X kilograms each and four weights that weigh Y kilograms each. And so we see these variables and numbers that we identify as key. And then we see a similar phrase for Rip Regina's weights, uh, a barbell with four weights that weigh Z kilograms each and six weights that weigh W kilograms each. And then lastly, we see another statement of relations at the end saying, Rift Regina can bench press more than Buff Billy. And so putting that together, we see here all of our key phrases pulled out from our word problem. So let's look at our first and last phrases. These both tell us that we need to make an inequality relating how much weight Regina can lift and how much weight Billy can lift. Specifically, it tells us that Regina can lift more weight than Billy. So to express that using an inequality, we show that Regina's weight is greater than Billy's weight. So now we need to find Regina's weight and Billy's weight so we can plug into our inequality. Luckily, the phrases that we identified before give us those weights. The second phrase is going to give us Billy's weight. It tells us that he can lift two weights that weigh x kilograms each, so that's two times x kilograms, 2x, and four weights that weigh y kilograms each. Putting that together, on the next page, we see that Billy's weight is going to be 2x plus 4y. Now, similarly, Regina can lift four weights that weigh z kilograms and six weights that weigh w kilograms. That's going to be 4z and 6w. Putting that together, we get 4z plus 6w. So now we have here our final inequality, showing us that 4z plus 6w is greater than 2x plus 4y, and that shows that Rift Regina can lift more than Buff Billy. Now, to get our final solution, we just compare the inequality we found with the answer choices, and we can easily see that what we have is the same as answer choice D. We've just flipped the inequality, but it's all just the same, and we found our answer. So whenever you run into a long word problem on the SAT, start by identifying the key phrases, like we did with Rift Regina and Buff Billy, and then translate those one by one into math, and then based on that, then you can go ahead and solve the problem. This is a skill you're gonna to have to get a lot of practice with and master if you're going to do well on the SAT math. Hope you liked the video. If you wanna hear more and see what else we're up to, hit like and subscribe, and see a new video coming up from Point Avenue every week. If you wanna to talk to us, hear more about what we're doing, or have any questions, email us at contact at pointavenue.com. Bye.